Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing. Today we have another watch. Addy's Dive. Addy's Dive Scuba Diver, to be more specific. And Odin wants to be involved. Yes. Yes. Yeah, what? I already fed you. Let's get this sucker open, yeah? Pretty basic box we got here. We open it up and we get ourselves... Oh, another box. This one's a pelican case. Like these things. Let's crack it open. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, this one... This looks nice. I like this already. And a uh, warranty card, of course. Pretty slick. Owner's manual, a user manual. Very easy to operate. A size, sizing tool. Put this to the side. Let's get some tools out. Because we're going to need uh, to resize this guy. Oh, that's not like this. Mm. Very nice. I really like this already. Ooh, so shiny. Or that someone said that this watch resembles a Stratina DS Action Diver. It's a 38mm Swiss automatic watch. And that one retails about 706 bucks, 710 bucks, or whatever tax it is too. But I don't see I don't see it at all. Alright, so let's get this thing unwrapped. Got my little finger condoms on. Ooh, this looks good. Oh, yes. This looks great. Dude, the wrapping on this thing is insane. I don't know what it takes forever to get it off. Ooh. Let's get out the nest. Safety knife here to get this little. Ah, there we go. Get off. Get off. All right. Look what we have here. It's upside down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Ah, I love the darkness of it. Oh, I love it already. Oh, yeah. Alright, ooh, look at this. Screw down crown, which is really extra nice. Now the movement is a Seiko NH35A. Let's get this clock going. Let's make sure it's the right. No, that's uh, AM. Let's go to PM. Alright. I'm doing this really late recording. There we go. We got the time set. Movement is nice. It's a reliable Seiko movement. Screw down crown, as I said before. It's pretty tough to get it in there, but once you get in there... Oh, yeah. Let's get some measurements. We got ourselves a... 40 millimeter with a case lug to lug length is 46 thickness 13 14.3 crown size 7 millimeter and let's get the bracelet size which is let's take a look at 19 oh 20 
So that's about 20 size. Nice. Uh, the clasp is, you know, stamped. It's your basic clasp. I'm probably going to change a strap, change it to a strap. But it locks good. Clips in nicely. It's kind of loose. I like the back case design. The scuba and the spears. Nice. I like it. I like how the uh, spring bars are easy to get to. Oh, we got micro adjustments. Three of them. Which is nice. I like that. Four was best. Push down links. Let me take this off so I can bang on it. I don't have to damage my tool. Now my wrist is a seven inch encumbrance. Let's put this sucker on. Click, click, click. Ooh, it's nice. A little jiggly. I might change the micro adjustment. We'll see. All right, now the bezel is 120 clicks a ceramic bezel. And let me remind you that the crystal is a sapphire crystal. Synthetic, as far as it says. Very nice movement. Barely any playback. Very clean. You got the AR reflectant, so you can see the blue tinge to it. I think it's only one layer. And now for the loom. The loom is pretty good. Super bright C3 Swiss luminous blue uh, luminescent hour markers. Excellent night brightness. And I remind you that this is have a 200 meter water resistance. So it goes pretty damn deep. Again, a NH35A automatic movement and 41 hour energy reserve this watch is pretty good guys totally worth it totally worth a $190 watch well guys that's it for you guys thank you and we'll see you again in the next video